Hello everyone, and welcome to the weird, scary, and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are looking into Juka Lindholm, a Finnish serial killer whose murder spree spanned 33 years between 1985 and 2018, with his case demonstrating numerous flaws in the Finnish legal and penal system. I'd also like to apologize for my pronunciation of Finnish, as I do not speak Finnish. Born Jukka Torsten Lindholm in July 1965 in the northern Finnish city of Oulu, Lindholm had a history of violent crimes against women in his adolescent years, as well as a bizarre attraction to his mother. His parents had divorced while he was in elementary school. As a teenager, he began using alcohol and loved violent video games. He also began committing thefts, for instance, stealing from workshops with his friends, as well as his grandmother's checkbook. In November 1981, a 16-year-old Lindholm kidnapped a 16-year-old girl only identified as... Carty, due to her age while she was leaving for school. He forced Carty into a basement where he beat her, choked her with scarves, and threatened to rape her while wearing black leather gloves during the attack. The girl managed to escape her attacker and led police to Lindholm, who was still a junior at the time of the attack. Carty later stated during Lindholm's court hearing, Although many times I said to the boy to rape me, but do not kill me, I'm young and I want to live. Lindholm did not receive a jail sentence and was released on parole, which he would proceed to violate by committing numerous thefts. As a result, Lindholm was sentenced to the Karava Youth Facility in 1984 and was released a year later. He described prison as hell and had a really bad time while at the Karava Youth Facility. Following his release, he proceeded to celebrate with his mother and her partner on the 26th of August 1985, with the three getting into an argument. He then proceeded to kill his mother, 48-year-old barmaid Lina Lachaja, or Voki Lindholm, who was found dead in her bedroom in her Oulu apartment, having been strangled. And despite Juka Lindholm, as well as his mother's partner, being suspected of committing the murder, Juka was not found to have been involved following police interrogation, and the murder remained unsolved. Less than one year later, an unemployed Lindholm met two 12-year-old girls, Tita Marjana Kotaniemi and the other girl who only went by the name of Katja due to her age and persuaded them to come to his apartment in Oulu so that he could lend them a few Finnish marks. The Finnish currency from 1860 until the 28th of February 2002 with the adoption of the euro in order to purchase some alcohol. In Finland, the legal drinking age is 18. Once in his apartment, Lindholm locked one of the girls in his bathroom, with the other girl, Kotaniemi, knocked down to the floor and choked to death. During the attack, he wore blue leather gloves and a red-coloured scarf. Lindholm proceeded to sexually assault the other girl before releasing her from his bathroom. The girl escaped from Lindholm and ran from the apartment block, informing police. Lindholm ran into the forest, where he was subsequently caught and had a blood alcohol level of 1.75. In the police car, he asked where his mother was. Once interrogated by police over the murder of Kotaniemi, Lindholm confessed that he was mistreated by his mother and saw the murder as vengeance for his mother's mistreatment with the blue leather gloves and red striped scarf he wore during the attack of Kotaniemi belonging to his mother. Lindholm detested his mother for not having been able to release him from the Karava youth facility and that she had begun dating a new man instead of living with him and his dad, which forced his sister to move out of the apartment. He also detested her for nagging about his lifestyle and excessive alcohol use. Under police interrogation, he confessed to strangling his mother in 1985. After she had gone to sleep, 
He retrieved his mother's blue leather gloves and red striped scarf, the same used to kill Kotan Yemi, put the scarf over his face and put the gloves on and proceeded to strangle his mother. Once in the Oulu District Court, however, Lindholm recanted his confession, stating that during the murder of Kotan Yemi and his mother, which police were now able to connect him to, he had been using multiple psychoactive drugs at once. On the 17th of March 1987, the Oulu District Court found Lindholm guilty of two charges of manslaughter and sentenced him to nine years and seven months in jail. However, the Rovaniemi Appellate Court held that the death of Lina Lindholm was not murder and instead assault or negligent homicide, with his sentence reduced to seven years. After serving five years in prison, Lindholm was granted parole in May 1992. One year later, on the 31st of May 1993, he choked a 42-year-old woman to death with a male cloth belt in his Kempele apartment. Kempele is a municipality just south of Oulu, which today is in the region of northern Ostrobonfnia. The woman, named Aja, was a Roma woman who Lindholm intended to sell his grandmother's gun to. The murder was witnessed by a stripper with whom Lindholm had a BDSM relationship. Lindholm allegedly committed the murder after revealing to Arja his sexual anomalies, including that he was only capable of sadomasochistic sex, including tying, whipping, and strangulation. When interrogated by police, Lindholm claimed that he was set up, and on the 23rd of June 1993, he escaped with prisoner Mika Petri Olavi Patsy from the Oulu County Prison. With the pair utilizing a security fence, with the prison undergoing renovations at the time, to escape over the wall of a prison. Both were recaptured shortly after their failed escape. Considered sane by the Oulu District Court, Lindholm was sentenced to 9.5 years imprisonment on the 13th of December 1993 for the murder of a 42-year-old woman. Subsequently, Lindholm contacted investigators in Oulu and told them that he had accidentally killed Aja. After the murder, he then went to his mother's grave, where he remained for hours. This probably wasn't the best strategy as following his admittance of guilt, Lindholm's sentence was increased to 10.5 years by an appeal court. While in prison, despite admiring his violent behaviour during his adolescent years, Lindholm is alleged to have demonstrated bizarre behaviour while in prison, including wearing makeup, women's dresses, and women's underwear. This was subsequently banned by the director of the Hamilina Central Prison, where he was incarcerated. While in prison, his father, Peti Parovo Lindholm, died on the 8th of August 1996 at the age of 60 and is buried in Vanta, Finland. Additionally, Lindholm also married Hanele Pentholm, who at the time was serving a life imprisonment for murdering her husband. Subsequently, he changed his name to Michael Maria Pentholm, taking the name of his wife. However, to avoid confusion, we will keep referring to him as Lindholm. Despite psychiatric treatment finding that he was not ready for release, Lindholm was released on parole in November 2008. In May 2009, he invited a woman to his apartment in the Oulu suburb of Mailayoja and attempted to choke her with both of his hands from behind, however she survived. In the same month, between the 1st and 31st of May 2009, he held a woman against her will and raped her. He then proceeded to buy an apartment in the Oulu district of Topilla in August 2009. A woman then visited his apartment in the same month to erect a massage table in the living room and Lindholm proceeded to choke her, however she survived. Between 21st and 22nd of August 2009, he also raped and falsely imprisoned a woman in an Oulu hotel room. One month later, in September 2009, Lindholm ordered a cleaner to his apartment. Two separate cleaners came to his apartment, one without incidents, on the 1st of September 2009, and the second cleaner came three weeks later. 
Lindholm began to choke the cleaner, but she managed to escape and alert the police. In the police car, he asked where his mother was. On the 11th of June 2010, the Oulu District Court sentenced Lindholm to six years of imprisonment for the three attempted manslaughters and numerous assaults. However, in April 2011, the Ravanyemi Appellate Court ruled that he had only committed three aggravated assaults and lowered his sentence to four years and five months. For the rapes and false imprisonment that he had committed following his release, Lindholm was sentenced to four years and four months in prison on the 2nd of March 2012 by the Oulu District Court. Once again, while in prison, Lindholm changed his name to Michael Pentilla having left his partner. However, once again, to avoid confusion, we will continue to refer to him as Lindholm. Held at an open prison in Laoka in central Finland, Lindholm escaped during a prison shopping tour on the 13th of October 2015 with fellow prisoner Tenhol Landstrom before being recaptured the following day with Lindholm found in Javaskaila following tips by the public and Langstrom caught on a train in Gilvieska in the northern Ostrobothnia region of Finland. As a result, his sentence was increased and he served the remainder of his sentence at a closed prison before being released on the 25th of December 2016. In the years following his release, he continued to be arrested for alleged aggravated crimes and in May 2018, following a series of legal appeals across a variety of Finnish courts, he was sentenced to two years and six months imprisonment and ordered to pay the victim 4,000 euros. However, before this, he would commit one final murder on the 13th of April 2018, killing a 52-year-old prostitute in his Helsinki apartment. The victim was not found until the 4th of May 2018. And Lindholm was arrested two days later in Helsinki on suspicion of murder. On the 17th of May 2018, police announced that Lindholm had confessed to the murder, utilising several tools to strangle her to death, including his bare hands, liver belts and her tights. Currently in prison for the aforementioned aggravated crimes, Lindholm was sentenced to life in prison by the Helsinki District Court in July 2018. Lindholm is currently appealing his life sentence. The case of Lindholm deeply angered Finland and revealed numerous failures in the country's legal system since a serial killer, indeed the only Finn identified by the FBI as a serial killer, could be released so many times only to continue his killing spree and sexual depravity upon his victims. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.